Hi everybody, welcome to Home and Haven Farms. My name is Brittany and today we are moving our sheep and giving them a new paddock and a new central location and we thought that we would bring everybody along. Over here and then extending all the way down that way was the dog's old paddock pen. Over here was their central location where we kept their water. This is where we fed them and they had the shelter um, for if it rained or snowed or anything. So we are changing things up today. We are moving the sheep and dogs new central location to just right next door where the pigs used to be and then they will have a lane to a shelter over here if they want with a corral and a fenced off area and then they also will have this whole extended paddock so we're giving them a nice big paddock for their last one until springtime when all of the rain and rest of the pastures and paddocks grow in so yeah we are just setting up the perimeter and working on that today this is the pigs old pen before we moved them over to Carl's side with the barn and we were rotating them for a long time but it just kind of became a sacrifice pen where we kept them there and they had some grazing but we fed them there. Brian is stepping in fence posts right now at the far end of the paddock and I'm just going to be stepping in fence posts along this part of where the perimeter of their next paddock will be. We're having to kind of do a wonky setup for our pen because we are short fence posts this time. So our neighbor's using them for something else. So we're gonna have to make it work over here um, so that we have enough fence posts to hold all of our hot wire. The boys are always so happy to get out and explore when we set up a new paddock. <laughs> and there's Babe. You are looking mighty handsome today. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> While I'm over here, I wanted to point out this very wet spot. Brian knows what plants are growing over here. He knows the name of them, but I don't. But they are water plants. I know that much. And as you can see, we have a lot of standing water over here. And with water plants, that lets us know that this would be a phenomenal spot to dig out some ponds. So that is one of our future plans for this area of the pastures. We have a lot of wild blackberries out here on the property. There's, they are these ones that are kind of, this one's a little bit older. They're kind of purpley in their stem and stalk and thorned. We also have some thornless blackberry bushes, but all of the ones out in the pasture are wild and dangerous. There's a handsome man walking through our pastures.
Hello, handsome. We've got Mr. K and Yammy. Nope, that's naughty. And everybody else. And here comes Babe with the hot wire to help close off their paddock. All the sheep are happy with their new forage. For those of you who don't actually follow us on Facebook or Instagram, Wiley has lambed this last week. Oh yeah, I could zoom while I'm recording. We've got one ram, the fully dark one is a ram. And then there's one with a little white tail and white feet that we're considering naming Miss Socks. And yeah, this is one reason why we rotationally graze. And as the sheep go through here, they fertilize everything too. So it helps the pastures to come in nice and green and strong and nutritious. There's our handsome fellas. They always love exploring the new paddock. So we've got a lane from here, the corral. Uh, we can open that first panel that's right there um, to let the dogs and the sheep in for the shelter. And I can also close it to feed them. That's been my solution for feeding the dogs and they can crawl under. And then we have this hot wired off. Don't know if you guys can see it. And it's just like a lane. I think we might leave the doghouse right there. And their paddock extends from that tree line all the way, all the way down there. So there's Babe, he is finishing up some hot wires. All right, so another angle is there's the little corral and barn area. And the guys have a little bit of area over here. There's shelter. And there's hot wire over here. Let's see if I could zoom on it. So the pen cuts off right there. And then it shoots all the way back and down. And then Brian says it's a little over three acres. And then they get all of this area fenced off as well. Up. Oh. Until here. So that's an overview of our new paddock for the dogs and sheep today. We are just wheeling everything back to the house and calling it a night. And that's about it for today. So I just wanted to bring you guys along because we were changing up the paddock and the hot wire. And sometimes it's a really exciting time for both the dogs and the sheep just because they get fresh pastures and a new area to explore. So if you guys like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing and sticking around as we continue sharing our journey. So thank you guys and we'll see you next time.